Hi everyone, so we're going to look at another example on use dates, but this time we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how to create an input field and then use a button to reset the input field to a default of empty state. So let's uh, set up the basic template right now for use state. And then I'll set up the function. And what I want to do in here is I want to set up a use state for name and set name. And then I'm going to have a use state that will be empty at the beginning. And let's say I want to set up this first, which is the button, which will say reset. And then I'll have an input field, just like that. And before I go on and do anything, I could set this up as well, just for seeing the default of name. I'll make sure I put this inside those empty brackets there. And I'm putting the value of name here. And I'm just going to double check the browser here. I'm just going to restart the server here. And I'll go to my browser. And what you can see right here is I have the reset button and I have the input field. They're not doing anything right now, um, but I just have the default template at the moment. And I have to finish setting up the code here. So for input here, I'm going to have to have a value is equal to name. And I'm going to make this input field, field do an on change. Um, whenever the user enters in something, it will update the name, the set name value. So it'll be e.target.value, which is grabbing the value in the input and then placing it inside the set name, which will then update that use state to have some sort of variable. And now we can call that name variable and it'll show up on the browser. So if we go back here, I refresh the page and I'll type Monica and you can see here we see it on our browser right now. Now let's go back here and what I want to do is I want to somehow whenever I click this reset button I want to set it back to an empty without having to delete all the characters. So let me go back up here and I'm going to set up a function I'll say handle reset that's what my function will be called and what I'll do is I will set the name to empty whenever this function is called. So what, can, what I can do is set up this button to work with this function and make it callable. So what I'll do is on click is equal to handle reset and I save that. And then now that I have this, whenever someone clicks that reset button, so what it'll do is it'll call this function and then it'll set it back to empty. So then the use state will be empty. And then the name value here will go back to the default of empty and nothing will show up on our browser anymore. So let's go back to the browser and see what happens if I reset here. If I refresh the page here. And now I can enter in my name, Monica. And whenever I click the reset button, you can see here that it goes back to default to an empty um, input field. So then I can start all over again. Maybe you just call Bob. And there we go. So now instead of always having to delete everything one letter at a time, back, 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 I don't need to do it anymore. I just click reset and it's good to go again.